Oh, uh, cause it's a true story. And I feel like the youth need to hear this. This, uh, this strictly for the youth. Um, so, uh, last year, sometime last year, a year ago, uh, I was sucker punch and I had a broken jaw and I had to go six weeks without eating. I had my mouth wired shut for six weeks. I couldn't talk, couldn't lick my lips. <laughs> yeah, um, so what happened was that led to that point, I was jumped into a gang, a crip gang. And first off, the initiation was four against one in the alleyway, three rounds, 15 seconds. So I was jumped into a crib game. Okay. What led me to doing that, making that decision for myself, is because I was seeking love, acceptance, and overall attention, thinking it would help my music career, right? Um, okay, so a little while after that, uh, I'm getting hit with all type of politics and everything like that. Now, I didn't get jumped into the gang because I want to be a gang member. That's not why. It was for the three things that I named. And, but it came with so many politics and I'm like, okay, this is not for me. So, even then when I thought it wasn't for me, I remember going to jail and I had to rep the gang that I was jumped in and fight, I had got, I got in a fight too in jail for it. And you know, it's just at one point I'm like, I'm I'm thinking like, bruh, I'm, I'm about to be living a life, I'm about to be living a life that I truly don't want to because at that point, I'm like, I keep going to jail, and it's like, tch. you know, just, I don't mean, I don't know, just, I truly felt like I was about to be living a life I didn't want to. Okay, so, that day on the beach, I was out to go buy some drugs, okay, and my intuition told me not to go out there on that beach that day. But because I was so full of myself, I ignored my intuition and I went to the beach anyway. So, um, when we get to the beach, the gang that I was jumped in approached me. And where you from, this, that, and the third. I'm like, oh, F this, F that, then boom. I get punched once, my right side. Instantly, I felt my jaw, like, and then they like, go in the alleyway, go in the alleyway. Now, it's a fool, get the whole gang there. I'm like, I'm not going in the alleyway. Nah, we ain't gonna do nothing. It's just, they wanted me to fight everybody that was there. Back, I'm like, so it's three of us in the circle, four of us, three of them, one of me. Equals four of us in the circle. We politicking on what's going on. And psh, nobody liked what I was saying. Out of nowhere, I get sucker punched with some brass knuckles. My jaw instantly fell out my mouth. And I say, F this. And I just I just run, I run in my car and drive to the hospital. Right? Um, lesson learned. I said, okay, that was my punishment and saying F all this gang stuff, it's not for me, that's not. But I said all that to say this. Um, Everything that I was seeking in that gang, I could have got from God. You can get from God. I should have got from God. I, I know I am going to get because... Um, 
We're not here on earth to please man. And we're not put on earth to live for man. Okay? So, we're put on this earth to live for God and to please God. And that's what I'm going to do. If you're seeking love, attention, acceptance from anybody, do not go to a gang. That's not the, that's not the route you want to go. Please pray and go to God because he have all the answers that you need. All the answers that you're asking for. Thank you.